Um, welcome. We're going to be discussing the luteal phase of your menstrual cycle and how that can relate to your relationship with yourself and the unique challenges that you might find yourself having as well as the unique strengths that you have during this time. So the luteal phase, I like to liken it to fall. It's this natural kind of inclination, like we're beginning to move towards hibernation. Skills that you really want to cultivate to make this luteal phase more empowering for yourself are boundary setting, navigating your people pleasing tendencies, mm, navigating your ability to just stop and be with yourself and your thoughts, even more so towards menstruation. These are the unique things that I find a lot of the people that I work with um, tend to struggle with because anxieties can come up, concerns can come up, fears can come up, particularly because in this luteal phase, because we're kind of coming in, we're beginning to feel more emotional. We're beginning to have a heightened sensitivity for emotions. It can feel like a very creative time and it can be a really beautiful time to um, engage in creative writing and like things from the heart, like communicating from the heart. So once again, if, if, if it feels like your heart feels a little bit blocked or communicating from the heart is difficult, then it's natural for concerns around that to come up and blockages around that to come up. It's really about, it's this period of time where we find ourselves kind of wanting to close cycles. Like we want to like clean things up or like destroy things completely. It's so natural to have this tendency to destroy, right? It's like this Kali, goddess Kali energy. Like I wanna destroy something. My general rule of thumb during the luteal and menstruation phase is that don't make big life decisions. Because we are being influenced by this energy to literally pick out everything that we don't want to come to take into the next phase with us we are going to be hypercritical of things around us which means we're also going to be hypercritical and judgmental of things inside of us combined with the fact that we are emotional and maybe we are in pain that's a recipe <laughs> for discomfort. That's a recipe for discomfort. A lot of people that I've worked with experience a lot of anxiety around this time. And it's combined with like this energy of like this urgency of like, I need to, I need to fix something. I need to make a decision. I need to finish something. I need to like, there's this, there's still this energy of like, I need to tie things together. I need to make sure everything is in place. This, the, the tribal like energy, like the, the energy inside of you is I need to make everything is in place so that I can take time off over my period. And oftentimes it translates into, I need to get rid of things in my life and get rid of like qualities that I disapprove of inside of me in order to make space for my period. So we can be really critical of ourselves and others. So we can also, it can also be really difficult because, because Maybe you're experiencing migraines or brain fogs, or you're not really thinking rationally. Maybe you're forgetting things. We're not really moving towards, um, we're not really moving towards like the skills that society has really celebrated in us before or often celebrates. We're not thinking logically. It's difficult to access empathy because we're becoming a little bit more what we, what we see as selfish it's not selfish, it's managing your resources. You're saying, I'm not gonna have that much energy. I don't have that much energy right now. I need to focus on pulling myself in because it's important that I experience my period in a specific way because I, my body knows that that's what's best. So we, we have this, like we become a little bit more selfish. Yeah, let's just call it that. It's not a great time for trying to fix things. It's a great time for trying to understand things. It's not a great time for beginning things. It's a great time to just reflect, not necessarily make decisions, but like, okay, well, what have I learned? And it's really important to have radical self-compassion, radical self-compassion. This is a time when you are naturally going to be initiated into 
an opportunity to regulate and understand your emotions. You're going to be putting, you're going to be using all your tools, right? If you're having a lot of emotions now and in the days to come in your menstruation, you are going to want to use your tools to manage them, to understand them, to find the stillness and the peace inside of them. If you feel a resistance to stillness and stopping, then that will become apparent during this time. You might find yourself wanting to start new projects, wanting to grab your phone more and look at it, wanting to do new things, wanting to make plans. And that usually is a sign that there's something inside of you saying that maybe it's not safe to stop. Maybe it's because you thought like, oh, I have to be consistently doing things. Or maybe you had an experience when you were young that made it feel like it was not safe to do nothing. That happens to us. So those can kind of come up at this time. And I'm sure that there are many that I'm, I'm missing and I'd love to know uh, your experience. But this is really a time to start honing in. What I like to do is like clean, get organized. Um, this is like your last bout of energy to so maybe make yourself like a meal that you can experience and that you can have on your period. Um, take time off, take time off from social events, take time off from work if that's a available to you really come in move towards your creativity and move towards your stillness and then that stillness is heightened in the period of your menstruation which we are going to cover now so i think there's going to be a video up here have a look at that we're going to cover menstruation mm -hmm.